Hello, I'm Mal. I'm back here with my buddy Sabalance, and we're continuing our co-op series, Cute Force, which now officially has that name, which is pretty awesome. It does, yeah. <laughs> our alliance, which now also has the um, Amathi, or Amathi, however the hell you want to say it, the cat dudes. The cat dudes have joined the alliance. They have. I mean, they're cats, so they're cute. Yeah, they can I be mean, on the well, cute force. I mean, they're kind of. I don't know. They're they're kind of like serious looking, but. I mean, they're, they're fine. You know that you know what I um, I'm curious about is when they get their turn, you know, when they're the president. I wonder <laughs> I wonder what they're going to do with that. Oh, God, declare war on all the fallen empires. My science ship's about to suicide. Yeah, I just saw that. I just saw yeah. that. Dimensional I couldn't horror. do anything. Dimensional I couldn't horror. do anything about it because uh. um, they closed their borders to me. So it forced my science ship to come back. And it wouldn't let me move it in any other direction, so... Oh. Fantastic! Yay. Dimensional horror strikes again. Oh, I love it. I love it. So we've had some time go on between episodes, I think like 10 or 15 years, and we've been building up and getting ready. We've got our Federation fleet built up. We have both of our individual fleets built up. We upgraded the ships. We've upgraded all of our... What else did we upgrade? Um, yeah, uh, we got the, we said, you mentioned the Federation fleet. Yep. And yep. Federation fleet. We yep, did. So yeah, we're, we're definitely ready. I got we'll nothing. For, these I, got, guys. I got nothing for my science ship to do. Like seriously, like for like nothing. Yeah, I don't either. That's why I'm hoping to just, uh, I do have automated. You know what? I'm going to try this. He might die, but I got that tech to automate oh, exploration. He's going to go straight into the quiet dark system and try to survey it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to let him go do his thing. <laughs> we'll just see. Just flies off. He's like, I'm helping. Uh, yeah, boom, <laughs> dead. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I should get that automatic exploration too, actually. I see it just popped up. Oh, I got to get physics labs too. Because my oh. physics search is lagging behind here. Oh, I just got a leader... Monthly influence one and plus ten happiness. Yes, let's support him, please. Yeah, let's get him. Zarax the gecko. Oh. What a great name. He just became yep, Zarax was just elected as leader bro. That's right. Leader bro. Leader bro, congrats. Yeah, leader bro Zarax. You don't you don't believe me? I love it. That's I him, love man. It. <laughs> what is this? Not that I'm having problems with influence. I'm actually almost capped. I should probably enact some kind of a an edict. I need or to build a new science something. ship now. Again. Yeah, it's just nothing I really want to enact. Maybe I'll do some like local system level edicts or something. All right, let's see. Where is my fleet? Okay, so the Federation fleet, I'm going to take us down to normal speed just while we set this up, okay? Yep, sounds good. Okay, so we have Mally's main cute force. I'm here. And then we have our, like, badass fleet, which is the Federation fleet. What's cool about this, and actually, you know what? It just hit me. So the cat guys joined us, right? So if we go to ship designer right now we should have access to their stuff as well what do you want to design who's the who's who's the president right now it says uh, i am oh here we go federation, uh, federation ship yeah. designer and if we bring up new design oh we see we can build a cruiser dude Really? <laughs> they've got cruiser tech. Oh, because they've got cruiser tech. Yeah, oh. That's kind of cool, right? Oh, 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 boy. But if we look at everything that they have, see, like, they have ship-mounted tachyon sensors. Hmm. They've got a lot of stuff. Plasma. They have plasma thrower weapon technology. And type two barrier defense. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Not bad. So Let's that's see. gonna actually it's having them in the Federation is actually not a bad idea because that gives us access to tech that we wouldn't normally have, and we're gonna be able to use that tech to fight off these empires who are also technically out teching us. Yeah, so this is Fed 
Like the United Veld Pecula Stars, which Three. are actually fairly Let's popular. Say, get that. We got the Foxtail Empire down here, which are overwhelmingly powerful. Migratory Flock, Moral Democracy. Now, can we can we upgrade? Let me let me check that real quick. Can we upgrade them just like we would a standard fleet? Wow, the Fox Hill Empire is huge. Uh, indeed we can. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the fleet real quick. Okay. The, yeah, the actual idea. Federation fleet. The, feder the Federation fleet. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to take a little bit of travel time to get over there and upgrade, but I think it's worth it. We could start the war without them. We got plenty of firepower. Yeah. 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 I think we're, we definitely outmatch them. Okay. You want to initiate it or it. do you want me to do it? Um, I'll go ahead and initiate it. Okay. I think it's better see. if you so do. So I should actually. be able to ask you guys to join. Or actually, it should automatically bring you into it, right? Because we're a federation. You maybe? just need to set a goal for... You need to make sure that like you set it up where you're getting one of those systems and I'm getting the other one. Okay, and yeah, so I he should Azar, join us. And then you're going to see the other planet. Okay, so that's yep. for you. Oh, I don't know if you can... It looks like it's not going to let you see it. It says your war philosophy policy does not allow... How about liberate? Yeah, it looks like you can liberate. There we go. Yep, you can liberate it. But then they just form a new empire. That's okay. It's All a right. new empire that I can build a relationship with and then eventually, you know... Vassalize or something? Yeah. Okay. Or I could just set them to vassalize, maybe. Oh, no, it vassalized the whole... Yeah, okay. All right, so, uh, yep, I gave you that. I've got to see the other planet. So I guess uh, we can go ahead and vote on it. Okay, go for it. Let me see if you get that. I did, and I am voting yes. Yes. Did they vote? Did they vote no? They get to vote, but they're probably going to vote no. It said that they were going to vote no. Are we at war? Mm. Oh no, it failed. Because they voted no. Uh oh, we're in a little bit of a conundrum here. Okay, so we need to give them something then. Get, just give it to them. Let them let it let it seed to them then. That's fine. I don't care. I want to take okay. the I want to take the space lizards off the board. But do we want to make them? I mean, we might be making them really powerful if we start feeding them planets. We're just gonna feed them one system. The reality is, we're gonna renegotiate our contract with the space cats at some point here in the not too distant anyway can, it says we can kick them from the federation but if they vote no it says one of our fleets is in combat which one oh you're in combat you've got aliens attacking yeah, you pirates pirate flotilla oh it was a pirate so they got 89 firepower so good luck pirates well, all that's in there, though, is like... <laughs> okay, hold on. Maybe There's an I've... alien space station inside your... That I can't seem to study. Interesting. Okay, so see if I give them the planet, if they'll declare war? Yeah, let's do it that way. Alright, so I see this planet. So there's the disadvantage of letting... The AI into the Federation. Now that's, we know. Now we know. So, hey, well, that's what this is about, right? Okay, it's flashing between no and yes super rapidly, so I'm just going to go and confirm and see what happens. Well, needless to say, it'll be the last empire we let into our Federation, probably. Yeah. Because if we get too many empires, then it'll be impossible to go to war. I don't even know how that... Okay, did you get the vote? Uh, uh nothing came up. Oh, nothing. Okay, let me check that again. Oh, some of the war score costs us I. Okay, I could give I could give them the liberate and see if they would take it. It looks like they would not. They would vote no. 
Seriously? Yep. <sighs> hmm. Well, we can kick them out of the Federation, maybe. Mm. They'll vote no on it, but if both of us vote yes... Let's try it. Let me try this. Hold on. Okay. Vote yes. All right. And we're at war. Ah, there we go. Sweet. Awesome. Ooh, glad that my fleet can finally leave the system to go heal up in <laughs> and uh, upgrade or retrofit. And I can finally send my giant ship in and maybe do some surveying. Where did you move uh, your fleet? Oh, geez. Go this way. Go this way. I see you're fighting those space pirates. Yeah, the Federation fleet is destroying the space pirates for me because they're good guys. Good, yeah. good guy Federation fleet. Good, good, good guys. Whoa. Whoa, what is that thing? Did you what, see what? that? No, what was it? There was like some giant like oh. it's like ripping a it's like ripping space apart. This giant ship. That's got to be the Leviathan thing, right? I don't know. What what was that? Yeah. You're talking about in the Fallen Empire? Or? Yeah. Oh, I God. saw something. I saw like some I saw something for just like a second. I was like, "What yeah. the hell is that?" I saw like what looked <gasps> like some comets or something. It was there was a ship. It looked like a ship. Moving through the Fallen Empire? That's what it looked like, yeah. Oh. That's, that's... That's awesome, if that's what that was. A ship... How big was the ship, though, that we could see it on? It was ginormous, is what it was. It was just basically, like, a couple of moving planets. I don't know if it, it might have just been, like, an effect or something. I don't know, but that looked no, cool. No, I, I saw it, too. I'm not sure what it was, but... It, <laughs> at this point, we can't be for certain with the Leviathans and everything. Oh, no, no, but we're supposed to be for certain. We're supposed to know everything about it. Just, oh, I'm just saying. Yes, I'm just saying. It doesn't matter right. that we haven't no, played you're this right. of DLC before. I don't know what's wrong with you. We're supposed how to already I, know all about it. How could, I, how could I be so naive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're bombarding my planet. Who with is? Their, wow, they've got a fleet of 2.4K. Who does? Um, They're bombarding my uh, Koromasa. Oh, okay, that's good. Good, good. Let yeah, them. let them. That'll keep them busy, and then we'll head up there. They actually have a really decent amount of... Oh, they were invading it. Oh, my goodness. That's fine. Let them. I have actually a lot of potential armies on there. Okay, I'm headed to... With both fleets, I'm heading to Zosima, which is on the northern edge of your empire. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to just head everything up oh, there. Oh, well, we clearly don't have to worry too much because the Armathi are sending in a fleet of 33... Hundred. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, I see it. They actually stopped bombarding my planet when the fleet started coming. Oh, do you coming, see though. them? They're just smashing stuff up. That's pretty cool. So maybe, maybe we do like having them in the Empire then. Go, go, space cats, go! <laughs> oh, just crushing them, crushing them. Finally, get the. Upgrade my other fleet. I wonder how much firepower that's going to give me once I upgrade this fleet. Mine's got almost 2,100. 2,100 firepower? Yeah. Well, that's a lot better than where I'm sitting at right now. Although missiles do have a lot of firepower. They're really good, actually. Missiles are. Oh, man. They are they are just smashing them. This is once great. I'm fully retrofit, we'll see what I've got here. I don't even think they're going to lose a ship, dude. Like, their shields and stuff are so strong. No. They're not going to lose anything fighting these guys. That's wow, awesome. Yeah. Now the question is, where are their other fleets? Are they? Oh, here it comes right now. Two point seven k coming into the three point two k fleet, the Armathi fleet. Let's go back them up. 
Let's yep, go. I'm sending my fleet up there now. Hopefully, let's see. I might not get there in time. We'll find out. I'll send the Federation fleet in too. Both of you get up here. Yeah, it might it might be all over but the crying by the time we get there. We just we show up and we're like, but hey, <laughs> yeah, we're here to help. Uh, yeah. How's it going, guys? Two yeah. force to the rescue. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we just thought maybe we'd give you, you know, a hand. Um, you know, just you look, reasons. You, were, yeah, you look like you need it. Maybe. No. <laughs> Got everything completely under control, but we just wanted to participate. We just want to help. This is going to sound really scumbaggy, but when we're ready to, like, dump them, the space cats, yep. we could get ourselves into wars with other empires that they're, like, right next to, like the like the uh, Star Foxes that they're next to, as an example, and let yep. them get beat up real bad in a war, and then make peace, and then turn around and backstab them after they've used all their resources fighting off the war we started. Yeah, you know what? That sounds like a fantastic idea. It's a little scumbaggy, I know, but... <laughs> I mean, yeah, but space is a brutal place. Right. It is. What can I say? And no one can so hear you scream. are they still fighting? And nobody can hear you scream. All right, I just engaged. Wow, they actually butchered the Armathi fleet pretty good. They actually really butchered them. Ah, we got this, though. Yeah, we're good. I got both my fleets in here now fighting them. And here comes another 2K. That's <laughs> right. What up? And here comes the geckos. That fight looks really cool, though, right? Yeah, there's a lot going on. There goes their fleet. I think they retreated at the last second. Now we're just crushing innocent troop transport fleets, which is hilarious. See, this is the part that I hope eventually will change, which is I don't care about destroying those transports. I wanted to go straight to the planet, but I can't because, right, it auto attacks them. Yep. So it'll be nice when hopefully when we they eventually get for that. complete control over it. We don't have to, you know, or like we talked about, what was it last episode or episode before where we talked about how you'll go into a system and immediately start attacking like the mining facilities. It's like, I don't want yep. to attack the mining facilities. Thank you, game. <laughs> I'd like to yeah, attack. It's going for the mine. There's like all sorts of enemy ships everywhere. And it's just like, oh, mining facilities. All right. Like, no game, what are you doing? I think we just basically crushed their fleet. Like, they've got, oh, like, next to did. nothing left. Yeah, we crushed them. I'm actually bombarding this planet now. I'm going to go ahead and I got uh, troops coming in, bounce. Yeah, I sent some liberate too. these guys. Let them taste freedom. Let them taste they freedom. They love it. They love it. Hell Divers, by the way, was that game I was talking about that had like the oh, hyperbolic yeah, yeah. patriotism. How uh, how is that game? It's really fun. We might want to try it sometime. It's actually pretty yeah. fun. I haven't played it in it forever, and I was never great at it, but it's fun. I saw it on uh, I've seen it before in the past. I think it came out a little while ago, and it looked like fun. These guys are about to get liberated. <laughs> and it they is enjoy the taste glorious. of freedom and if they oh. don't we'll make sure that they do <laughs> open up here comes the freedom train choo choo my science ship ready hold my oh, oh my scientists here level up Oh, habitability here is already at 100%? No kidding. Okay. Ooh. Well, then I'll build something else, game. I will build something else. Let's get some more science. Science is good. Science is good. Oh, they've got enslaved pops on their planet. Interesting. They're enslaving their own population. They're, they're, I'm telling you, when I said that they're evil space lizards, they are evil space lizards. I guess so. Most hey, listen. I don't know what you got back for the um, you know community subscriber empires, but most yeah. What I have learned about my community is that at least for creating things for this game, I have a bunch of sick bastards. I love them, but they're like everything wants to just destroy <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I'm noticing that. Slowly but surely, I am noticing that. I mean, some of them don't, but... Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of them do. Yeah. A lot of them are like, want to eat your face off. And if it's good, I guess. Did you lose... Face, uh, we is. didn't lose any ships. Nope, I don't think we did, yeah. Here, I'll go... Some... Uh, I'll go down and clean up the other system to speed this up. I'll send Sounds a good. Send a Federation fleet with me. Yeah, you might as well because I've, I mean I can hold this down. I'm gonna go ahead and land these armies. Uh, these armies now. And I should have plenty of forces to take it. Let's see. Yep. Planetary fortifications at zero. Here come the troops with my general. Who actually has a really good uh, army health plus 5%, army damage plus 5%, army morale plus 25%. I have a terrible army. Like, it's just uh -oh. like default, but I do have a decent guy. He's got the butcher trade for plus 10% army damage. Oh, that's good. I actually also have a lot of robots in my army, which is making a pretty big difference. You can't beat those robots on the ground. They're insane. I mean, their health is doubled. The morale is doubled. It's They're pretty powerful. They're pretty uh, BA, are they? I mean, yeah, they're pretty great until they're uh, trying to become sentient. Then that becomes a problem. First contact. Oh, first contact with the curator right. Limbata Enclave. Greetings, Star Travelers. We are the curators. Our ancient order was established eons ago by various galactic powers and ascendancy at the time. We were dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions and barbarism. We, oh. fa we failed. Oh. A, f a few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission of our predecessors. Hey, what? Space Lizard, shut up. I'm trying to talk to these guys. We are willing to share some of our knowledge with you. Oh, hey, sw sweet. Okay, oh so boy. do they show up in the contact list, the curators? Um, How does that... How I does think that... you just negotiate with them because I have some in my system too. How do you How do you talk to them? Yeah, they're, they're in the contact yeah. list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They should be, yep. We're interested in procuring new star charts. Can you aid us in research? Can you aid us in research? Of course, we're prepared to offer a limited number of access. I would like to purchase this, but... Oh, wow. It's 2,000 credits. But it gives you... Oh, man! It gives you oh. plus 15 research across the board for 120 months. Oh, you're gonna laugh. So we liberated both these planets. As you can see, the wars ended. Yeah. And we liberated both of them. Yeah. And now they've changed to peaceful traders. <laughs> Yeah, because they, they, they mirror whoever liberated them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's perfect. Yeah, All good right. deal. So they should. The neutral. I guess we'll just wait to see if that goes anywhere. I'm just starting some stuff like active, like I'm doing like active sensor link and other like stupid stuff just to build up trust with yeah. them. Yeah, good. So, but yeah. Success! Success, Q4! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Uh, well, okay, I guess I'll clear these guys out. Let me send these ships back. I guess we don't really need to. Com I guess technically for victory condition, we don't have to kill everybody, right? Isn't there a victory condition where the Federation can win? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, yeah, so, yeah. So we can go for that victory condition too if we wanted to. Yeah, I'm so if we go to situation log, is. victory condition, Federation. Win the game, having the Federation own 60% of all habitable planets, and we currently have 18 out of the 141. Oh, why does mine say 0 out of 141? Mm, I don't know, but we have 18 out of one Because I'm the president right now. When he cycles oh, okay, over. So oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome, though. Yeah, it's cool. So we could just, you know, some people we ally and invite into the Federation, and others we... We give them freedom. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. That's the way that works, man. That's the way that works. Oh, energy credits for 940 minerals. Floor sovereignty. 
they give me 940 energy credits they want 940 minerals yeah that's a great deal that's a good deal yeah 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 i can take some more energy credits i actually want to build i i want to know what the dimensional horror is like i'm tempted to send the federation fleet in there as like a sacrificial lamb just to see what it is i i'm i wonder if we combined our fleets together if it would be enough oh I, now that's that's a little bit more ballsy than I was gonna go for. Uh, there. You're right. <laughs> wow. It wouldn't be enough. You're right. It wouldn't be you, enough. You are. I, I guess you're a man that likes to live on the edge. I guess would it be enough for us to survive long enough to see what's going on? That's why I wanted to send the Federation fleet because it's like 900 ish military power, and I thought, well, if it dies, it dies, but we could at least get a look at it. Yeah. Are you are you good with that? What if, like, it just instantly dies and we don't get a look at it? Well, that, that'll suck. I'll just go park it in the system next to it, and you can give it a little thought. Oh, actually, you can park it in the system next to it. We might be able to see something like that from that anyways. We might. Yeah, that's true, because those Federation ships actually have, like, the level 4 sensors. They're all badass. Yeah, we might actually be able to see in there with them parked next to it, so... Well, we'll have, to find, we'll have to find out in the next one, then. We'll have to find out in the next one, because we've we, we got to go... Oh. We oh, gotta, we, we got a jet, Oh, my man. goodness. We got a jet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got a... <laughs> anyway, folks, hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Reminder, we'll put these out uh, every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern U.S. Thanks for watching. He's Sabouts. I'm Mal, and we will see you later.